Hello, Cindy here. I'm excited to dive right into this. I get this question all the time about, you know, how men fall in love and the ways they fall in love. And, you know, oftentimes what I see with women is they put the cart before the horse, meaning that they want to create this deep emotional connection right away when it can be a bit out of order. And as women, we bond through our, you know, shared emotional connection and communication. So men are a little bit different. And I'm going to share that with you today. So, you know, the first way a man falls in love with a woman is by having really great experiences with her. He built, it's kind of like he's building his resume with you. He builds his connection with you, his initial connection by having great experiences. And, you know, that could, you know, that could be, you know, going and, you know, going to play foosball one night or um, golf or he's teaching you something or you try a new cuisine together or you're, you know, you're talking and you're sharing something together over, you know, life experience, right? So men fall in love through bond, you know, they bond through these experiences. Now here's the thing they they need to feel positive for him and you might be going well of course but the interaction gets to be more positive than negative and i'm going to get to that in a moment so you know think you know being in the present moment having fun um you know and just really enjoying your experience together so whatever that is and hey um you can't hear huh can you guys hear me now is that better okay great thank you <laughs> um I have to turn up the volume on my computer so at any rate um so that bonding happens through having positive experiences so it's like you know, positive experiences in the bank. So there's that. And the, you know, the next thing is, is that, you know, when a man spends time with you, he walks away with a positive experience with you. He wants more of that. Um, and he doesn't feel pressure from you. And a lot of times where women get tripped up, you guys, is they have an agenda and women tend to want to move things forward much more quickly than Amanda does. So she's like, okay, so when's, you know, when's he going to get closer? When are we going to have the conversation about commitment? When you get to enjoy the moment and, you know, I'll talk about like commitment later and how to, you know, how that goes. But, you know, a man falls in love with a woman through his experiences. And then once he starts to build that connection with her, then he starts to feel safe to be vulnerable. This is super important. He can start to feel safe to be vulnerable. And if he feels like through these experiences that you guys have shared, that you accept him for him, you're not judging him, meaning, and a lot of times we can come across as women as judgmental when we have a agenda. And the agenda is maybe I want the commitment, I want the relationship, I like this guy, I want to lock it in. And instead, it, it gets to be the opposite. And ladies, I want you to hear this. Men appreciate things that they work harder for. In fact, we all do. Think about it. And if you are the one that's driving 
the connection, then he doesn't have to do any of the work. So it's a combination of you being receptive and you guys coming together and both putting deposits into your experiences together and your positive experiences together, right? And then not forcing the next step. Now, as a woman, men respond well to women that are authentic and that can be open and vulnerable. So you can start being vulnerable and he may very well start to become vulnerable too. And you know, but the big thing, because we all want to feel accepted, he wants to know that if he shares something with you that's vulnerable, that's scary to him, that, you know, that you're going to accept him and that you're not going to judge him. You're, you're still going to be there with him. That is a big next step in a man developing connection and commitment. And you know, the interesting part about this too is space actually makes a man fall in love. Absence makes the heart grow fonder because a man needs to feel this, that yeah, I've got this connection with her. Yes, I'm having a good time and you're, you have enough space in between the time that you spend together to let it sink in. And he's also got to know that, and this is, this is a whole nother live you guys, but he's also got to know that, Hey, I don't necessarily have her. I could lose her too. So, that goes into setting boundaries, teaching people how to treat you, letting them know what makes you feel comfortable in a positive way. You know, I, I work with women and men too around communication, your emotional triggers, the things that come up, the stories we create in our minds that are usually not the case. So when when you're dating, it's like, be present, have fun, and really make sure, is this what I want? Am I enjoying this, this experience? Are, you know, am I able to be transparent and open with this person as well without having a need for his approval too? That's a big one. And you know, an ingredient for a man to fall in love with a woman is it's got, there's, there's a timing factor involved. You know, women will fall in love at any time. We are always available for love unless we're not, but most of the time we are. And a man, it has to be timing in his life. So if, you know, if he's in a space where he's could be, you know, recently divorced or, you know, have has gone through a traumatic period, that may not be the best time for him. Or he's in a building space, um, that may not be the best time for him. Men typically need to feel like they have certain things in place in order to let love in. That is so key, so important. He obviously needs to feel attraction towards you. And um, the he also needs to be able to feel like he can provide for you. I, you know, I work with women that, you know, in, in most cases, they've always provided for themselves and they can provide very well for themselves. So there's a hard time with being able to receive. So if a man doesn't feel like he can provide and provide value to your life, he will not fall in love with you. 
If he doesn't feel like he can add anything, he is not going to, it, it, he can't. It's, it's, like, it's like he's cut off at the knees. So men really need to feel that way. He obviously needs to feel chemistry, needs to feel a sexual chemistry with you. And that comes to play with, you know, and it, it doesn't even need to be that you guys are having sex yet. It could be that you are connected with yourself and your own sexuality, and that makes him attracted to you. So the more comfortable you are there, the more he becomes, it builds that tension and chemistry there as well. So, um, you know, and there's, there's this, this value thing, right? He needs to know that you guys have a similar vision and you should want this too, that you value the same things. You have a similar vision. I think a lot of times there's this key ingredient that miss that, that people miss that, you know, there maybe you really have all these great components together, but your visions aren't the same. You know, maybe one of you wants to have kids, the other one doesn't, or one of you wants to have, you know, travel internationally, and the other one wants to go on weekend trips and is really super satisfied with that, right? So you want to make sure that your visions are aligned. They don't need to be exactly alike. And that he needs to know that you have his back and you need to know that too right but you know that you are going to you're going to stand beside him you're going to support him and you know, as women, we need to feel supported too. We live in a different society today than 50, 100 years ago. Um, and, and it's not entirely that different, but you know, I can dive into that at another time because women have been doing a lot of masculine activities for a long time. So that's why it can be hard for a woman to allow herself to let go of control and let a man lead and because and typically because there's some fear there but if he doesn't feel pressure and he's having fun with you and he doesn't feel like you've got this agenda to push things forward all the time it gives him the freedom to enjoy his experience with you and as women we tend to be five steps ahead of them once we decide that we like this person, we care about them, we fall in love, we want to be with them. So it's about you also keeping, you know, holding back a little bit, letting him come to you. And, you know, so this important key about having his back, it's like, a share a story that I heard. Um, this couple, they were, you know, driving in traffic, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, the car stopped in front of him really quickly, and so he had to slam on the brakes. And his his girlfriend at the time was like, "What are you doing? Like, what what's going on? Why'd you have to do? You know, stop like that?" So she did that and he didn't even realize they they ended the relationship and then the next woman that that happened with he happened to marry her but you know there was you know something happened in traffic and you know he had to stop really quick and she's like gosh i wonder why that person did that so she had his back she was on his team rather than going into an accusatory place. And I think oftentimes, depending on the way you were raised and depending on 
who you've shown up as in this world and I can dive into that in another training that you know sometimes we either have a tendency to take all responsibility or not take responsibility so deflect right so if that's happening he doesn't feel that partnership with you and that disconnect will um you know will actually make him want to 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 pull away and that's energetically now here's the next thing and this is the last one that will gel it all together is a man needs to feel not only that he can be himself and you get to be yourself too right you get to be authentic is that he can live out his purpose with you he can live out his life purpose and his life purpose might be different at 25 than it is at 45 or 55 but he needs to know that okay this woman i can be free to be me i can do these things she's got my back she's not going anywhere and we have this synergy of she's got her own thing i've got my own thing and we come together maybe we even do projects together but if he feels that it's like a man soars in a relationship and that creates a deep bonding of love so i hope this helps you um you know let me know if you have questions comments did this help you guys um you know please just mark in the box yes it helped and if you have something that's come up for you because there is a natural way that men do fall in love and it and it happens in different phases so i can i'll i'll definitely share that on a different live i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i've talked enough um but post your comments below and i'll answer them and if you have questions about this piece then i will also be more than happy to answer them and please ask the question because here's the deal you guys if you're asking a question you're brave enough to step out there and ask a question then you are actually doing this thing where you're helping others because somebody else may have the same question and they're not asking it but if you do, you open up the door for helping so many other people. All right, lots of love to you guys. If you know somebody that needs to hear this, please share it. And if you're on YouTube, hi. Um, click the subscribe button if you'd like to get my videos. If you're on IGTV, hello, you guys. I will see you all next time. Lots of love. Mwah.